Hey guys, how's it going? Counter Baron here, and I'm welcoming you guys back to even more of Diablo the Hell mod single player playthrough featuring the Paladin class. Now, I do remember the actual last time we did it, we actually got some really cool weapons via drops. We got ourselves a Stiletto, a Spike Club, and we also got ourselves a club over here. This Keratos, it hasn't been identified yet, but we also got some really cool Void Rings that were left in town right now rings of the void there's actually one good ring that gave us 11 that will give us 11 magic if we equip that and there's another ring that will actually give us 14 magic if we equip that you can actually check all that out in the previous video in case you missed it and let's see what else we still have in that area we still have our heavy dagger we still have our arcane's valor our peasant cap we still have our amulet of might undead hunter we still have a ring of purity and we still have our Empyrean band now let's check out our secondary offhand and weapon we still have our injuring bone of maiming because i'm still not going to be getting rid of that it's still like really really powerful as you can see according to our damage right now 33 out of 52 yeah that's a ton of damage so we still have our bone guardian now the amount of damage it actually does to the undead instead of 33, 33 to 52, it does so much more than that towards undead. Just as the sword right now is going to do a lot more than just 20 to 34 damage against beasts. Again, that tidbit of information provided for me and provided to me by Mordor has been really, really helpful in this playthrough. Again, I sincerely thank you guys. This game is courtesy of Mordor and the Hell Team. Shout out to them. They did a really good job with this mod. And as you can see here, got five potions of healing. There are three that are just partial healing. And then you have the full recovery thanks to the potion of full healing, which we have two of those. And this relative healing right here. I also have healing spells. I also have uh, healing spells for flat spells. I also have a hydra spell. I can't exactly use that right now because I don't have the magic requirements. I don't have the mana requirements, so just leave that alone. And uh, we still have our fury. We can tend to, we can still practically use that when we are of those fury requirements. But enough of talking about my character. Let's just get this level eight underway, shall we? Oh. That's, that's fire arrows, guys. Gotta be careful about that. So far, so good, guys. Where are they coming from? Not enough mana. Relative trap disarm. See, the problem with these relative trap disarms is that you can't necessarily tell which ones are trapped or which one. Okay, this one is trapped. You know, just as I was about to finish that sentence, I knew I had to stop when I saw a trap chest. It would have been so silly if I actually finished the sentence. Oh man. Okay. So you're immune to fire, huh? Probably won't be doing so well against doing so well against lightning. Remember guys, I'm not exactly fleeing away from these monsters, I'm just repositioning myself. Repositioning was so worth it. And as you can see, the gold drops are definitely increasing. So 
So yes, you best believe I have no room for this crap. We are getting paid our righteous amount of gold, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm, purifying spring. I'm gonna leave that alone. Just maneuver my character. Appreciate that. Force wave, huh? What's the requirements on this thing? 140. There's no way. Paladin can't ever learn this ability. Unless somehow I manage to get crazy magic. From the from weapons and armor and such. Uh oh, boss nearby. Elamanzer the razor claws. At this point, it's not really a race of how much time you can actually do it in, just as long as it gets done at the safe, by the safest means. And we still got monsters. Alright, alright. Not enough mana. Have some mace here. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm, it hasn't been identified, but we can definitely wear it. Nice. 
And we gotta push some mana right here. Yay, more potions, mana. And we got us a sword staff. Steal mana? That could be useful, I suppose. <sighs> they opened a door, so I'm gonna have to see exactly how far this path leads. Is it yep. Alright. We can actually use that door in just in case we need to. Let's uh close this door right here. Courtesy. Gonna close this door right here as well. Courtesy. And we're making our way further south. Because that's how we do things, ladies and gentlemen. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We leveled up again. Currently level 15. Let's see here. Do it the same way as before. One, two, three for that, and two for for the remainder, the main stat. Yeah, they're nearby. They're definitely nearby. Just as I open that chest. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, really? Uh -oh. Uh oh, we're surrounded by five monsters. This is not recommended in terms of strategy. And potion along with no potion mana, potion healing. And scepter here, 
Nice. No. Nice. Got over the town portal. So we don't necessarily need mana for this run. And pick up that slow can, shall we? As a matter of fact, um, let's see. Got a heavy bone here. I got rags. Use this right there. And still got that relative inferno. Uh, spike club, we'll keep that. We got a scepter here. That's for that's for an assassin. I'll leave that alone then. But uh, we're definitely picking those up again when we get back. Save. I wanted to save before I entered in there, just in case I made a mistake, you know. And being able to backtrack prior to entering Hello, the town. Hello, my door. friend. We got a crystal cap. What the? What's this magic this nice? Let's see. 100% armor. If I take that off, it's not so bad. So we have ourselves a definite boost in terms of resist magic. It is about 12 health. So not too bad. But we definitely need more armor class. We can put that right there for now. And it looks like here it's an armor class of 16 versus 30. Is it a bad? Sell this club here. It's useless. Only sells for two gold anyway. I'm um, gonna go ahead and sell this Mace of the Bat. Uh, I'm gonna sell this Warrior's Careness. Can't really do anything with that. And we already have a Bone of the Bat, which actually gives you the additional 53% damage to hit, plus 6%, and it steals mana as well. So, not really doing anything. Not missing much when it comes to that. We're gonna do the clip the wolf here. Sell the items. Sell that. We're almost at that 10k margin. We're so close to it. Let's see here. Pretty sure some of you guys won't mind if we actually read the lore. So that's exactly where we're gonna be end up doing next. Okay, let's go ahead and read that lore. Many demons traveled to the mortal realm in search of the three brothers. These demons were followed to the mortal plane by angels who hunted them throughout the vast cities of the east. The angels allied themselves with a secretive order of mortal magi named the Haradrim, who quickly became adept at hunting demons. They also made many dark enemies in the underworlds. Alright, alright. Yeah, probably should have saved. Uh, I should have saved. Necessarily need to use any potions of healing. It's always good to have backup healing sources just in case things don't go your way. And it 
looks like we found our way down to level 9. should have a rags and circlet okay we got ourselves blacksmith oil here we're good right? I almost forgot that spells are unusable when you're in theory mode. No tunic there. Not exactly sure what this tunic consists of. I'll hold on to it. Not this dagger. What can we do with that? so bad. Oh, as a matter of fact, I need to replenish myself. There we go. Oh, go shrine. There's gonna be good men nearby, I bet. Actually, let's switch.
I believe this is the last area and this area this is like the last doorway for this area of the map then we make our way further into the circles. Well, relative telekinesis, better yet. And uh, let's see what this shrine is going to do for us. Those who defend seldom attack. So, we got an armor increase here. looking at something else here. This is good. Heavy bone, crazy stuff like that. I'm doing backtracking just to make sure that I cleared everything in this map. And I probably could have if I just focus on this area first, but you honestly don't know unless you uncover the entire map. I can't carry anymore. And the wager that, yeah, this area is full. Uh, let's see, let's see. This oil will repair too, so. Alright. Max it out. Okay, someone open that door. Best thing about this, um, this one with the bat is that you don't necessarily need to worry about running out of mana as long as you're able to hit your target. This way, when you run low on fury, you can just cast it again. Let's see what this ghost shrine does for us. That's totally convenient, and I'm going to use that as soon as I clear this map. Get this gold. Get the gold. Head over here in this corner. dagger. to the town portal. There is no place like home. Hello, my friend. Tunica the Void. Ha! Huh? Man, this is awesome. We're getting Void items left and right, ladies and gentlemen. 
<laughs> wow, this is just really, really cool. Save up those void items. This way we can get our magic to a really high standard. Greetings! We got two heavy daggers, which we don't necessarily need to. Because there's a heavy dagger in the catacombs waiting for us, and we still have our stiletto and spike club. And this time I made sure to repair our items, so that was the first thing to actually go underway. There's a heavy dagger right there that we just need to pick up in case we needed those additional additional blades. I'm sure there are going to be more, much, much better blades down the line for the Paladin, but for right now, hold on to what you got and make it last because that's just one of those things that's um, just one of those values that tend to suit you well in the future. We're going to identify that later, just not right now. We're going to identify the scepter later, just not right now, as well as those rags. And let's go ahead make our way down through this area level 9. We're going to save right here at this uh, stairwell to level 9 and I'm going to just wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did I sincerely thank you all for your time and until we meet again in the next video this is Counter Baron saying as always take good care of yourself.